Hello, my fellow viewers and subscribers, and this is Super Choco Milkshake here with Doki Doki Literature Club again. And, uh, <laughs> well, okay then. So, things were kind of weird with the last episode. So, um, yeah. It's already Sunday. I'm gonna try to keep this one short, okay? Or at least I'll try to keep it as short as I possibly can, anyway. Okay, well, let's go. It's already Sunday. And I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and an intimate person in general. Yeah, that's true. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. No, yeah, I definitely could see that. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. Putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when she might need me? Exactly my point. Oh, there's no music. It's ominous again. I decided, I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like... Like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that it made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses, like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume that she's up in her room. It's already strange not to run down of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Find her. Sayori? Hi, Super Chocolate Milkshake. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Oh, no, no, no. A minute passed. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not as much as really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and the wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I ended up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know that? Siri already had left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It was only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. I'm just helping her online. What? Come on. Seriously? Uh, wait, are you ostracizing? Are you excluding her? Or are you... Or is she excluding you? We didn't plan to meet up or anything. There's something up here. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence in between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, there's something wrong, and you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Super Chocolate Milkshake. Eh? Why can't it just be like the way it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. Oh, come on, seriously? I care for you. <laughs> I wouldn't have even... You wouldn't... <sighs> Goodness gravy! This is getting to me! Ugh. You wouldn't even have been thinking about me right now. <laughs> but this is just my punishment, isn't it? Just getting punished for being so selfish. What? No. No. I think that's the way the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to... <sighs> what? Sayori? I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something's happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. 
I won't, until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. Why is this hurting? You really put me in a trap, Super Chocolate Milkshake. But you're wrong. Nothing's happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? I'm not crying! I'm not crying! <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Super Chocolate Milkshake? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. <laughs> you know what? I've had it too! I've had it too! Did you know that? <laughs> Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. <sighs> I can relate to her! I can relate to her! <sighs> What's the reason... What is the reason there to do anything when I fully know how worthless... <sighs> Gosh, dang it. Ah, I feel her. I know every single thing about this. I've, I've, I've experienced it. I may still be exper- I'm, I'm still experiencing it. I mean, even though there's just been one thought that's keeping me going. And that is, I know there's something better. I know there's something better. That's the only thing that's been pushing me forward. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people who put their- Energy and caring to waste by having it spend it on me. No, Sayori, no. It's much better to have friends that care for you than... No. Come on. Please. You're making me cry. That's what it feels like. I'm not crying! I'm not crying! That's why I just want to make everyone happy. Gosh. Ugh. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm crying! Ah! I'm breaking down! I mean, come on, seriously. I, I, I've been wrestling with this whole depression thing myself. You know? It's hard to fight it. It's really hard. I know how it is. It's difficult. It, it's beyond belief. But you know what? That's why we have other people. We need to remind each other that we're here for each other. I'm here for you. If you're suffering from this, don't worry. Comment down below. Don't be afraid. I'm here for you. That's the part about being in a community. Like I said in the last episode. Don't be afraid to say it. Don't be afraid to say it. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. Is it possible that Sayori kept me this the entire time before I know her? <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of easy to mask, too. And I mean, you know how it is. It's like you put on a mask every single day. And people really don't know how you feel. And that's why a lot of people who are depressed usually try to spend their time making other people happy. Because they know how it feels. It stings. It burns. It hurts. It, it's a crushing force. <sighs> did she really want... Did she really want so badly for me just to think about... Just not to think about her? <sighs> no, 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 no. You need people thinking about you. You need people caring about you. It's the one thing that's probably going to give you satisfaction in your life. <sighs> Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could have done to support you. Exactly! You don't push people away! Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make your... make every day a little better for you. And that's why I am your friend. I'm here for you. All you had to do was just tell me. I don't understand. 
You don't understand at all, Super Taco Milkshake. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. No. No. Important things only matter to the people who are important to you. And that's why we have other people in our life. That's why we have... This is why we have... Uh, this is why we have other people... I mean, we have to support each other. Come on. I don't want to be cared about. No. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it feels like a bat being swung against my head. No. Come on. <laughs> why are you laughing? That's why I wanted everyone so badly to make... Oh, that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends with and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. Sayori, please, stop. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every left path leads to nothing but hurt. You need to experience some pain sometimes. It's how you go through life. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to. Whatever it takes to help me to stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Super Chaga Milkshake. There's nothing. Nothing at all. No! Stop! <laughs> There's only one thing that you could have helped if, if everything was like the way it was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. No, no, no. That doesn't make you a horrible person. It doesn't. Tears streaked down. No. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. Come on, seriously, we both need a hurt to get through this. Please. It's just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. No! Without thinking, once again, I grab Sayori's shoulders. But this time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah. Ah ha. Super Chuckle Milkshake. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make everyone else friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Super Chocolate Milkshake. Super Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't, don't do this to me. No, no. We need each other. Come on. Please, don't do this. Super Chaka Milkshake. I... Sayori barely manages to speak without, between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. It, I, I know that's the thing, but come on. You know you gotta do this. You know you gotta be with her. You know you gotta spend time with her. But all I want is for her to know that I care. Exactly. If you have it in your... To call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. Exactly. Exactly what needs to happen. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. Just ask. I'm here for you. I'll get mad if you don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand my f any of my feelings, Super Chocolate Milkshake. I know that's how depression is. I mean, I don't understand any of my feelings either when I feel them. The only time when I'm feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. And I understand that too. I understand that too. But there's better things. You gotta remember that. 
But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How much... How would you like me... Like for me to spend it all day with you? Uh, um... Uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think it would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all the days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I wouldn't really forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. And at the very least, do you want to come along and help out? I mean, it'd be a lot better than helping out Monica online, at least. Come on, you we'd probably all have a fun time, the three of us together, making decorations. It'd be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. I don't know if that'd be very good for me today. But it'd be the best for you, Yuri. Seriously. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. Okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feel feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be too worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I approach my house. I see something that makes me feel a little... A moment of panic. Yuri? Oh, hi. You got here quick. Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. Sorry, I, I wasn't home yet. You were waiting. Were you waiting for a long time? No, just got here. But I started to get really no nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Uh, you could have always texted me. If I would have known, I would have reassured that you had hurried home. And hurried more on home. <laughs> Murrayed my hurried my way. My plugged up nose is giving me issues again. Hold on a second. I'm back. I'm back. Yes, I'm fine. I'm completely fine. I, I'm not that worried. No, no, I'm not. No. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. There we go. Now I got it, Sam. There I go. There, there I got it. Right. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that. For some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a whole lot of stuff with you. That's right. Did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Uh, yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything... Uh, excuse me, everything right? I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Same for me, because... <laughs> yeah, obviously, my room isn't really the cleanest either. Uh, well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, uh, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk of mine. Dude! I think my avatar is hiding porn. I, I've never... I, I don't... I, oh. no, 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 no. Why would I even do that? Get it out of your head! <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I just was thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, making sure she's keeping track of him. So, um, uh, should we get started? Ah! Oh. Yes. I have a few things planned that you can help me out with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, at aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you had planned on taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help help make the our guests 
I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. For cupcakes. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're pretty and that you're in a pretty intense person. Ah, intense? Uh, I guess that's the best way to put it? Is that a bad thing? Uh, no, not at all. It's something that I actually like about you, really. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages around through a bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here. So... So I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think it would be amazing, would don't you? Yeah, I guess that would be pretty neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? This is a diffuser for essential oils. How f how familiar are you with aromatherapy? Ah, uh, well, I heard, um, uh... Well, in a way, I heard it's kind of relaxing, and sometimes it's actually a proven medical treatment sometimes, so... Not familiar at all. Really? Is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils and herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel the, it permeate throughout your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout, sprout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? It's a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, it's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than just relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotion and helps you feel them flow throughout your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think it'd be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. Again, she reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Like, yeah, I have it over here. Well, we wouldn't be using the paper for folding origami. Ah, oh, rats. I do like some origami. That is, what I'd like to do is write different, a different word on each paper. We'll need to, we need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What would those be used for? I'm going to cut the pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eyes of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. Well, that's really creative. I had no idea that you were so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? I suppose they do get a little intense, as you put it. Uh-huh. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe the excitement she feels is sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a mark of Super Chuck and Love Shake. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor together, too, the two of us get to work. Carefully, I draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of rib ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself, gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? If you're going to think it's weird, Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Exactly! To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yes, I promise. Wholeheartedly, I won't tell anybody, okay? Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling a danger, maybe. Um, what am I saying? 
Please don't think I'm weird for this. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna think you're weird. Because sometimes they prove handy in some way, and, you know, I have seen some rather well-designed knives, too, so... <laughs> you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about share. You got about sharing. <sighs> well, I guess it's an interesting thing to be into. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Mary relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Carefully, carefully, Yuri hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and I turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Super chocolate milkshake! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp. It could cut through skin like it's paper. Ooh, well. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes me, takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, she stares at it notice, and noticeably fidgets. You're, if you're screamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, it, without warning, Yuri puts her finger into my mouth and licks the wound. Uh, are you like some sort of vampire or something? Is there something that you should tell me about? And should I bring out that um, uh, whole collection of garlic gloves I have in the closet? I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pulled my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing... That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sure it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was trying to help, right? Gary, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from the rest of this afternoon? Alright, you know what? It might be a stupid thing to do, but I'll do- Am I literally just gonna put her finger into my mouth? I take Yuri's hand and I lick her English index finger in return. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Super chocolate milkshake! Did you really just do that? Yes! 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 And there we go. Now we're even. Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. Yes? Hi. Hi. What's up? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Krista. But, but don't just stand there. You told me to hold on and I'm scared. No! Okay, just go out there, get ready to set up the table. I'll be out there in a second, okay? Half of the table's already set up. You just need the silverware. Unless you want to eat the cube steak. They're really trying to pull me away from this, aren't they? Okay, fine then, fine. I'll just save right here. Here, here, here. Okay then, fine. I'll save right there. And I guess I'm going to have to end this episode right here. <laughs> Even though I wasn't planning doing? on recording a walkthrough, okay? All right, anyway. So, I have to end this right here since my sister is too insistent. So, anyway... If you liked it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. This is Super Chocolate Milkshake, sign and off.